Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic for today's second video, which is from the excellent um, constructor Alexander Rapper, who is definitely going to feature in our Cracking the Cryptic book, which uh, the Kickstarter campaign is still underway for. Do um, have a look on the link below the video if you haven't already. Do go over to the Kickstarter and uh, pledge your support. The more support we get, the more stretch goals we reach, the more interesting content is going to be in the book. Um, and, you know, strongly recommend that, especially as it features constructors of this quality. Now, there's also, we have released the videos on Scott Strosal's uh, Pirate Puzzle Hunt on Patreon. Congratulations to all those who got through it. If you go through those videos, and ignore my two uh, typing errors at the end of the first puzzle, um, you will know that that takes a lot of solving, that hunt. Those are, for the four puzzles, I mean, we've been through them before, and they still have taken something like 45 minutes each. It's an astonishing bit of work. Um, do have a look at those if you're interested in the puzzles or wondering. Maybe have a look at the fifth video if you're a Patreon and able to do so, just to see how it all came together. Uh, one or two people have begged for easier reward content next month, and that may happen. Now, this puzzle, what's going on here? There's just seven clues outside the grid. Normal Sudoku rules apply, unsurprisingly, and non-consecutive rules. And that's one of the reasons that Alexander can get away with so few clues, because non-consecutive rules are very powerful. They mean that for any two neighbouring digits or neighbouring cells in the grid, they can't contain consecutive digits. So that couldn't be one and two together, for instance. And that applies everywhere in the grid. Now, the clues outside the grid, these are not sandwich clues, although they look a bit like they could be. These are X sum clues. And that means they're summing the first X digits in the column or row where X is the first number. So in this, let's try the 35 clue. The six clue is actually quite limited. In the 35 clue, it could be adding the first um, six digits if they could add up to 35, the first seven digits, or the first, not the first eight, I don't think, um, but maybe the first five. And whichever it was, this would have to contain five if it was adding the first five. This cell would have to contain six if it was adding the first six, or seven if it was adding the first seven. So there are some limitations on these, and they're clearly going to be where we have to start. But this is a very few um, number of clues to do such a puzzle. Do have a go, though, on the link below the video. Uh, knowing Alexander Rapper, it's going to be worth it. And I'm going to have a try now. So let's get cracking. The six, as I said, I think... I was going to say in X sums there's only one way you can do six. That's not true. You could do a two and a four to make up the total of six in two digits. But you could also have a three here and then a one, two. However, that would be a problem in a non-consecutive because the one, two would necessarily necessarily be next to each other. So I think we can prove that is 2 and 4. Now I said this 35 can be 5, 6 or 7 to begin with. It can't be more. If it was 8, the first 8 digits would add up to 35. We know that 1 to 9 makes 45. Good old knowledge bomb there. So the last cell would have to be a 10 and that's not possible. Uh, 16, I suppose, can't be 2, because although you can make 16 in two Sudoku digits, neither of them can be 2. So it could be 3 or 4. Actually, it can't be 5, because the only way to make 16 in five different digits is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and none of those are 5. This 18 can't be a 4 already, so it could be a 3 or a five. Six digits have to add up to at least 21. Can't be that. This eight. Uh, it could be a two or a three. If it was a three, three, one, four is possible. Two, six would be what it would be if it was a two. Ooh, 29 and 22, they're kind of mid-range numbers. 29 in 
four digits? No. Four plus nine plus eight plus seven is 28. So 29 could be five or six. It can't be seven, interestingly, because the other digits in the row would have to add up to 16 and include, therefore, a seven, which would be meant to be here. So that can't work. Now the 22, you can't do it in three, including a three. So this could be four, five, or six. Actually, it can't be seven, because again, it's another of those numbers. Although you can, no, hang on, it can't be six. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Yes, six is one of those numbers. I don't know why I was thinking it could possibly be seven. Um, six can own, sorry, 22 in six digits can only be done by going one, two, three, four, five, seven, which don't include six. Now, actually, yes, of course, this is non-consecutive. That is the salient point. These numbers have to be not consecutive to each other. And the only way of doing that with these is a six there and a four there. <coughs> so that does give us some traction in the grid. Ah, of course, the same principle applies up here. These have to be different from each other. So that's three, that's five. This is now two because that's three. So we can complete the eight clue with a six there. We've done that little one. This 16, three plus five plus eight makes 16. So that's done. This now can't be five or six, so it must be seven. Um, I'll come back to that in a second. This 18 is now five digits making 18, including five and four. That's nine. So these other three make nine, and they can't include five and four. They've got to be one, two, six. Six has to separate the one and two, otherwise they'd be consecutive. And we can see that from that two, that which way round they must be. Now, this 35 clue, very hard to deal with the seven digits, but the other two add up to 10. And we now know they're not six, four, seven, three, or two, eight. So they are one, nine. And effectively, we've now used all of the clues over this side of the grid. So there's just this 29 and 22 to go. The 22 is four digits adding up to 22. That's hard to use. 29 is six adding up to 29. These other three make 16. There's quite a few possibilities for that. Okay, let's have a look at just regular Sudoku. Actually, let's have a look at non-consecutive Sudoku. So this number, one, four, and nine to go in the box, but that can't be one or nine because it would be next to two or eight. So that has to be a four. We get a one, nine pair in column seven there. This is three, five, and eight. Oh, that's nice. Where can five go? Not next to the four or the six. So five there, three there, avoiding the four, eight there. That means this one, six, nine are replicated here. The six can't be next to the five. The one can't be next to the two. Four and seven down here, can't disambiguate those. Three, five, eight here, this one can't be a five. Two, four, seven here. Um, okay, that can't be the seven, because it's next to the eight. Ah, the, I was gonna, the two can't be next to the three, so it's in one of those cells, but the four can't be next to the five or the three, so the four goes there. Seven there and two there. Now, this 29, there are 16 not in the 29. Two, five, nine, very happily makes 16. So suddenly box six is all done. Now, 22 in those four. So 23 in these five, including 16 at the end. So these two add up to seven. They can't be three, four or six, one. They must be five, two. So that clue's been used. One, eight, and nine to place. Oh, that's a nice one because one has to separate eight and nine. It has to uh, keep them apart from being consecutive. 
Now, what does that mean in this row? One and four must be, because they're here and here, they must be in box five. So the four is in one of those cells. The one is in one of those. Ah, oh, and three must be in with them. Not because I can rule it out on its own from those cells, but because those two cells can't be seven and eight. Oh, in fact, sorry, I'm thinking of it the wrong way around. Because those cells can't be seven and eight, three is not in with those. Yes, it's not that I can rule it out from those cells because three could be there with four there and one there, but that's not possible. It would leave seven and eight here. So three has to be over in box four with either seven or eight. And one of them is in box five. So three and six are up at the top somewhere. Um, let's change these pencil marks because I need the corner pencil marks really. That's more accurate. Three is definitely there. Four, eight, three, six. This cell can't be three, which is locked in there, or six, four, one, or eight. It also can't be five or seven because they're next to six. So it must be two or nine. Maybe I can't get any further here. That's irritating. Right, what's going on at the top? Right, three can't be in any of these cells, um, those two, because it would be near the four. So three is in one of those two, and it's over here somewhere. What's going on in row two? One, two, six, four, five. We've got three, seven, eight, and nine to place. Now that feels to me as though eight, three has to be at one end of that string. Is that definitely right? You can't have three at the end of the string here, because if you try and place seven, eight, and nine in the next three cells, eight must be next to seven or nine, which isn't allowed. So three's not there, three's in the center, and I think, yeah, three's in one of the two central cells. Eight can't be also in the center, because it would have to be next to seven or nine. So eight's on the edge next to three. Um, but I don't know which way round. It could be 8, 3, and then 7, 9 in some order, or 8, 3, and 7, 9 there. Ah, that's frustrating. Um, 3 there and 3 there. So 3 in row, column 1 rather, has to be down here. Clutching at straws a bit here. That's so far from the rest of the numbers. I don't know how it helps. Crumbs, how am I meant to get this? Oh look, this is eight or nine. So this can't be eight. That's definitely true because it would be next to either eight or nine and that's broken. Um, Oh, it can't be seven because it's next to six. So that's a definite three. That fixes the three up here, which puts eight next to it. This is now the seven nine pair. That's brilliant. Okay, that can't be the three now. So um, this one can't be seven or eight because it wouldn't be next to seven or eight. It must be one or four. But we don't... That's from one, seven or eight. That's from four, seven or eight. But we don't know which of seven or eight is in those. <sighs> weird, weird puzzle. Four, eight, one. So one, four, seven, eight, five, two, three, six and eight. No. Three and six are up here. Now nine doesn't have to be because it could still be there. Okay, let's just keep going. This can't be five or three. 
not that helpful. It can still be six, seven, nine. Actually, look at this seven, nine. Where does eight go in this box? It can't go in any of these cells, or it will be next to either a seven or a nine. So it's in one of these cells. They're looking down at that, and that resolves which of these, where seven and eight go in the row. Seven there, then we have a triple here. Oh, that includes an eight, so this must be the nine. That's eight. So now we have a 259 triple up here. Don't think I can do more than that. That gives us a 367 triple here. And 6 and 7 have to be separated by the 3. That's beautiful. Um, 6 and 7 in these two cells. That's so neat. Um, can we keep using that? Oh, maybe a bit. Six and seven can't be in these cells. Yes, seven can't be in either of those cells because it would be next to either a seven or a six. And we know it can't be up there because of that seven. So this is the seven in box two. Six now can't be in those two. It has to be up here. It's fabulous. Um, it's Two, four, seven, eight, one, three, six, five, and nine still to go. Nine can't be next to the eight, so it's in one of those. But I don't think I've got any constraints on the five in that box, as far as I can see, which is irritating. Right, the two there means those aren't two. That can't be because it would be next to the three. So two is in one of these cells. Ah, now one can't be next to the two, so they're ruled out, as are those by that one. So one's up here, and that fixes this pair over in box three, which we've forgotten for so long. That fixes the nine in box two. Now we've got two, three, five, and six. Oh, three's got to be here. Um, two, five, and six. Well, the two has to... Again, separate the five and six. Couple that is too amorous. Um, one, four, and eight at the top. So four, eight, one, four, one, eight. Ah, I did those based on where four, eight, and one were here, but actually that three's very helpful and sorts it all out. Can't have a four here. So that's eight. So we end up with five, six as a pair here that I still cannot resolve. We're going to have to get that later. Um, ah, I can't get any of these done. Normally with a consecutive, a non-consecutive constraint, it all suddenly falls apart, but not this puzzle. Four, two, three, eight, six. One or five there. It can't be seven or nine. It's next to the eight. Um, one, six, eight, and nine in this group. This one can't be six for two reasons. Mm. This one can't be eight because it would definitely be next to a nine, but that's a very slim picking finding now. This can't be six, two, one, seven, three, or eight, four, five, or nine. One, six, four, two, that's not so useful. Eight, three, nine, six, two. Ah, how are we meant to keep going here? Have I forgotten the X sums? No, I think I've done all them. Three, seven, one, four, two, three, eight. Ah. Oh, that is interesting. Look, where does Oh, that's six. Sorry, that has sorted out the five, six pair. Six goes down in one of these cells, and it can't be next to seven. So the seven in column two has to be up here. That fixes this as a two. This is now nine, because it can't be two or five either, which would be next to the six. That makes this one. Excellent. So we get a six, nine pair here. We've got Three, seven, and eight there. Well, three has to be in the middle, otherwise you'd get a consecutive yet again. 
two, four, five to place here. Again, two has to be in the middle to avoid a consecutive pair. I love how often that keeps happening. Uh, two there and two there. So two must be here. That can't be one. Uh, this can't be three. Two, nine, three, eight, one. That could be four, five, or seven. So that can't be one either. So that's eight or nine. So this can't be nine, because otherwise it'd be next to a nine or an eight. Um, that gives me a one, six, nine triple in the row, which is no use at all. Four, five, or seven there. What am I missing? I bet I'm missing something. Oh, this can't be eight, because it's next to the seven. That's been so for a long time. That gives me a three here. Um, doesn't sort out any of these pairs, though. Two, three. Six is definitely in one of those two. Ooh, how could it be there? Only with a four here. Three, nine, two, four, six. It could be. Um, is there some other very obvious uh, non-consecutive that's shouting at me? This is four, five, seven, or eight. But that's quite a bunch. That, four, five, six, seven, or eight, that's not four, it's next to a three. Four is in one of these. I cannot see quite how to resolve all this. There must be something simple going on. Come on. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, the only place for a one in this column is here. That is relatively simple. That fixes the whole triple there. Eight fixes that as a nine. In fact, that was the only place for a nine in the row, so that was a lot easier than I was realizing. This is now a six with one there. That fixes nine, one. The nine fixes the five, eight. Um, the nine also fixes this six, nine pair, which fixes this eight again. Seven and eight resolved there. That seven fixes box nine. That four comes back here on that pair. Brilliant the way this is all working together. Really, really elegant. So the four is there, eight there. I've got a deadly five, six, seven pattern, although obviously it's not because that eight is potentially next to a seven. And that resolves the end of the puzzle. What a brilliant puzzle. Absolutely lovely. I mean, not very, not too difficult, but great fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope to see you again soon. <coughs> Bye for now.